next, it's a UFC lightweight division belt. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control. He can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson. Guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter patter about it. No. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding out of Maklakala, Russia, Islam Bokachev. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your court. for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5-2 player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the field. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the... Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
Muay Thai plump. Nice take the hip down toss man. as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Working out of the half guard here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Transitioning to the arm submission now. tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Islam Bokachev. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there.